let's go back to the beginning. Are we in focus? We seem to be in focus. Sync up. There we go. Okay then. I thought it would be interesting to do a little bit of my thinking behind doing an NFT drop for foundation. Let me turn you a little bit this way. So I'm working on my code for my next art blocks drop, which is going to be 80s pop. And while I was developing that code, I was trying to do it in a certain way that ended up ultimately not working. But I got to this point where I, I actually, even though it wasn't going to work, I actually quite like the aesthetics of it. I like these roundy lines. They're really supposed to be tucked under the other lines, and that's where my code was going. But I couldn't get there this way. So I froze the code at this point, refactored it all, and my art blocks code is going somewhere else. It, it makes it looks a little bit more like art blocks when you add the colours in. So this is more me playing around with the colours and experimenting with palettes. So that's that's a debug set of palettes, too ugly. So you, you kind of have these things. So that's what we're used to seeing. But I'm thinking of it from now a print point of view, if they were going to be screen printed, or if I was going to do a high resolution image for foundation, where instead of it being completely random, I have some artistic control at certain points in the process. So what I'm doing is because I'm thinking about print, I'm actually looking for structures that I like, and I find that easier using grayscale here. So I've taken the colors out, and I'm looking for a three by four rectangle where I quite like the results. So that's quite an appealing one. I have this one here that I found previously that I quite like this three by four shape down here. I'm gonna take that and rotate it to the left, and I'm thinking about using the traditional print colors, yellow, magenta, cyan, and processing them in a certain way. Uh, this, this, I think, is gonna work well as a cyan. And the next thing I need to do is just separate out these five colors. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, I thought it might be interesting to kind of see where we're at right now because the next step is to actually do the final thing. And normally you just see them appear on foundation and there isn't really any background behind it. So here we are right in the middle of code, actually doing this kind of live, really. This is me right now making the aesthetic choices that you're gonna see probably on foundation later. This over here is a print by Brian Giles, who's called Son of a Fox on Instagram. Now, I'm particularly drawn to this because I have a love of print, cyan, magenta, yellow type of stuff, and particularly speaking more to the print process, so like half tone. So that's why I ended up buying this, because it's got everything that I love in it. I'm just gonna flip you around here. But I want to talk a little bit more about design decisions. So Brian isn't going for exactly cyan, magenta, and yellow, the print ones. He's very carefully picked these colors here. But also the design decisions around the different way. So you can see on the blue, you've got these quite, it's quite chunky with these white dots here. Whereas, I'm not sure if we can pick this up on camera, this pink is rather fine. And ye yellow is a bit of a strange color with print because it's so strong as a color, but then it, it's kind of weak compared to the other colors. So again, Brian's made the decision here. Instead of having the white dots to make it lighter, he's got these tiny little blue dots in here that add extra shade into the yellow. And again, over here. So what's going on here is Brian is actually bringing a lot of his own aesthetic and design decisions to this print. It isn't, once again, just bring it into Photoshop, get the layers, press the button to get half tone, and then you're good. There's, there's a certain way he processes all of his designs. Now, I'm not going to do it in the same way that Brian does it, because I'm going to be using code to translate the black and white images that I have into their different half tone components. But this is the aesthetic I'm going for because this is the aesthetic that I already love. But I wanted to show um, I wanted to show a different designer thinking about it in a slightly different way. So I highly recommend looking at Brian's work. So there we have it. That's that's basically a wrap up of design similar to this, uh, but I'm coming at it from a code point of view. And that's roughly the background behind hopefully what's going to be a foundation drop.
I'm a bit excited because today these arrived. These are the test prints for the NFTs that I might sell. And if these prints are all right, then I'll send the designs on to get screen printed from downstairs where I hopefully made to screen printing. So I'm going to open these up, have a look at them for the first time, and we'll see what they're like. Let's have a look that way around. I think this is one of my favorite ones, which is just the magenta. Now this one is all three colors. This is yellow, cyan, and magenta all together. Obviously when it's screen printed, the colors will be different because these are digitally mixed, whereas the inks will actually mix on the screen prints. Magenta and cyan. This is the, the yellow and magenta, which is pretty awesome. Get you back into position-ish. That'll probably do. I wanted to print these out so I could actually get a look at them to get a feel for how they'll look when they're screen printed. And I think these are gonna screen print just fine. I thought about just doing the cyan and just doing the, um, the yellow, but it seems to be the magenta that really speaks to me. I don't want there to be too many, so I think five is a reasonable number. As I'm going to take these downstairs to hopefully made and see what they think about them, whether they're screenable. And then I'm probably going to sign these, and these might go with the NFTs. I haven't decided whether these will or whether the screen prints will or exactly what I'm going to do with these. Anyway, I'll have a think about that. So that was today's pleasant surprise. It is Thursday the 4th of November and yesterday Becky finished screen printing all the prints. Um, there's five different designs in total and I asked Becky to do 12 of each which means there's 60 here and my job today is to go pick eight which are going to be the limited edition. I asked Becky to print 12 so I can pick a smaller number to take into account there might be small faults and things so the ones that aren't limited edition will be the misprints but Becky's so good at doing screen printing that the misprints aren't really that much different to the limited edition print other than I've spotted the odd thing like now and again there's a little nick in the corner here which has nothing to do with the print at all but anyway that's the way we go there's going to be a limited edition of eight the misprints will be great anyway um, uh, so I just need to sort those out and then put them into card and um, protect a wrapper like this pile over here. That's going to be fun. This pile over here, which looks bigger, but it's just because they're all carded up. These are all the test prints and the original digital prints. And I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with all of those. The, the original digital prints and, the, and the, the number one are going to go with the NFT. But we've got things like this, so this is the pink that I like my neons, so sorry about the reflection, but this is the bright neon pink. But this is a colour that we mixed up that didn't quite match. Um, I forget what we did differently, but the pink is paler from the neon pink. Um, but I really like it. This pink and blue works really well, but there's only one of these. Um, and we're unlikely to be able to make this colour again, so I'm not quite sure what to do with this one-off. Then there's the... This is the original digital Gleesy print, which was like the proof or the test prints. This is gonna go with the NFT. And these black and white ones, there's only three of these, um, and each one of these with the test print, so we can actually look to see whether the screen is working. Um, so I'm not quite sure what to do with those. Some people really like the black and white ones, but they're not part of the release. 
So we'll see what happens to those. And then all of these down here are test prints that have various, some of them are all right, um, but some of them have little patchy bits on it. So I'm not quite sure what to do with those. Anyway, that is my job today. Sort these out, sign them, number them, and then put them in the protective wrappers. It's gonna be full on. I'm a bit tired, I'm a bit tired. I spent ages sorting all the prints out, uh, grading them, putting them into protective envelopes, having them all signed, writing the descriptions for them, all of that. They're all sorted now, I'm pretty excited by that. Um, I've just made the foundation so that five NFTs, we decided on five in the end that get prints, so they're live on foundation. I imagine they'll take a while because things are quite slow at the moment. But the prints I'm excited about, I'm going to tweet out about those uh, in just a moment and see how it goes. And my brain has melted because there's so much going on. Um, and I could really do with a night's sleep, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. This is either going to be really fun or um, a big anticlimax. Let's find out. Well, it's the next day and we did all right. Um, the limited editions went online, um, a whole bunch of them sold out straight away, there's only a few left. So I've got to go start putting um, the, the misprints and the other one-offs online, so that's good news. I've got all these tubes that I need to start putting these posters in, so I can get them into the post. And, um, well, the NFTs haven't sold yet, but that's to be expected. But I'm really pleased, I'm really pleased that after all that because you get those little self-doubts that um because you don't know if anybody else is gonna is gonna actually want them or buy them but um no it's been good it's been good fun i would definitely do it again uh it was two and a half months of learning whole new processes and uh yeah that was all right thank you for coming along and we'll see what happens next <laughs> goodbye Thank you.